Shalom, 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 giving our praises to Yahweh, Bashem Yahusha, Bashem Baka Badash, giving double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and salutes to all the 144,000 who let them in. Uh, keep an eye out, keep an eye out, people come to walk their dogs. This is really um, a dog walking spot, so um, just have to keep your eyes open, you know. So, happening one of my other videos. And you got some of these dogs now, they start, they're very dangerous. They um they breed them. They breed them to um <laughs> attack their attack strangers. They breed them to attack strangers. But this, this is a harmless one, this one. But you know, the ones that you gotta be look out for is those pit bull dogs or those um XL bully dogs. One come up behind me the other day while I was over here. I just had to um you know just keep your eye on them, that's all. So yeah man, so Jake you don't know your own strength man, you know, just generally speaking we're going to go into some precepts, Jake get to know your own strength, get to know your power, you know, get to know your strength, get to know your power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahushai, Yahweh our father, and we're princes of the power, so um, this is a walk and a learning process, we're learning all the time learning all the time this is a walk and a learning process a process you know so to get our to get to know our powers and we, we really don't know our power like that not fully not fully but we but we going, we're getting to know so we're just making these observations what's going on in Israel at the moment man with the um with that little melee that took place you know um you hear things you see things you, you, you've experienced certain things, so you know certain things, and you, you know, I'm just going to address certain things right now. Let's get straight into the precept. What's on my mind? Some, some be meditating, you know, on some of these um, situations that's going on in Israel. I think the precept, what I'm going to bring out, explains it best. Let's just hear it. First, Second Chronicles, Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then I will hear from the heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land <coughs> excuse me excuse me yeah so um it speaks for itself man you know and that we um we went off we um we suffered the consequences on the whole, Yashu Allah, Prince of the Power, and now we got um, we got um, reflect, man, how to get back, how to get back that relationship with our long lost power, man. You know, it's, mm, them type of words that's just in my mind, just going around my head. Get to know your power. Jake don't know his own power, and that's what he's explaining here. Yeah, fifteen, read on. 2nd Chronicles 7.15 Now mine eyes shall be opened and my ears attend unto thy prayer that is made in this place. Right. Prayer. That's the importance of prayer, man. You know, getting back to our relationship, getting back to square one where we once was. And that was the that was the video, that was the idea anyway. From the time we started to um go off, go veer off to the left. From our relationship with Yashua Allah, which is all part of the movie, hence the curses had to come upon us, and um, the elect now are turning back, pursuing to Revelation 11 and 11, and now coming back, getting back, being healed, as it's saying here. Yeah, 15. Now mine eyes shall be opened and mine ears attend to the prayer that is made in this place. For now I have chosen and sanctified this house that my name be may be there forever and mine eyes and mine heart shall be there perpetually. And um, if, you know, so he's going to return us back. He's going to return us back to our own land, you know. He's going to hear from heaven when we humble ourselves and seek his face. He's going to hear because Yahshua Allah, Yahweh, turned his face from us. And we, 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 we made the first mistake. We made the first move. We're the ones that went off first. But 
now it's up to us to come back so you got still got a lot of rebellion in Israel with all these other camps these other cameras see rise for Israel no watchmen for Israel and um, getting involved in rioting that was a riot that was a straight riot getting involved in riot rioting that, that shows that they don't know their power they don't know their strength they, they haven't got to know their uh, the Christians say they haven't got a personal relationship with God but it's true though you've got to have a personal relationship with God and then you won't have to act out a character yeah or put yourself in, self in compromising positions like that you know so we don't have to return you know calling all camps calling all camps chief Ephraim calling all camps calling all camps we don't have to return back there well it's over there in America so we ain't <laughs> You got, but you, have, you, I have heard that there's some people over here that want to go to America to get back, to get a number two, to get a um, a round two. Oh, that's crazy, man! You haven't, you don't have a personal relationship with God. The Christians, even the Christians, know better than you. So, yeah, man. You, you will, if we were to all humble ourselves and turn to the right and pray, the whole of Yahshua Allah, which we, that ain't gonna happen. We know. Because there's too much rebellion among us, yeah? niggards, and they have to be, um, with, for the ones that are of the elect, yeah, they're going to come out of all that, um, that, um, what do you call it, um, bandwagon, jumping on bandwagons. You have to have a personal relationship with God, that's, that's really the bottom line. And you're going to, um, Birds of a feather flock together, so you're going to be like-minded with the people that you surround yourself with. Yeah. Um, Proverbs chapters, Proverbs chapters 13 and 20. One of the precepts that, one of my favourite precepts, man. He that walketh with wise people will become wise. He that walketh with foolish people will fail badly. So we ain't going to be around niggas. We ain't going to be around stupid stupidity. We don't even like being around. You know, we want to get out of this place, point blank period. We want, we want to be out of this stupid, God-forsaken place. Let's just hit some precepts. This is going to be a quick one, man. Just to make the point, right? There's another one in, that was Second Chronicles. Now, let's turn over the page. Second Chronicles 6 and straight to the point says in 20, 24 says, And if my people shall, and if... Thy people Israel be put shall be put to the worst before their enemies because they have sinned against thee and shall return and confess thy name. That's the power of the name. Get to know your power. Get to know your own strength. The strength within you. The force is strong within you. As that quote from um from um, Darth Vader. No, it wasn't. It was um. It wasn't Darth Vader, but it was the movie Star Wars. The force is strong with you. Obi-Wan Obi Kenobi, that was a quote. When he's talking to his um, the up and coming pretender, Luke Skywalker. The strongest, the force is strong with you. Is the force strong with you? Is the force strong with me? Abu Razar, yeah? Getting to know my power, my father, calling back, calling upon him via his name. He's given me his name to do so in times of confusion. When um, in the heat of battle, that is why people, when they go to learn all these kind of combat sports, they train, and in the heat of battle, that's when they need it most, and they use it for the ones that really um, are serious about it. They don't throw all the all the um, abilities and the what the stance. They don't throw the stance away. What what have you whatever you've been learning? If it's jujitsu, if it's boxing, if it's um, karate. Um, ja taekwondo, you know, the list goes on. You um, you apply the things you've learned when it matters most, when you need it most, in the heat of battle. Abu Razar, this is the point of this, me doing this video. Know your own strength and use it. Call upon the name of the Lord. That's the, that's His name there. That's His name. We know His name. He's giving us His name. Yeah. Shall return and confess Thy name and pray and make supplication before Thee. In this house, confess your sins, man. Pray for one another, but ultimately pray to the Lord for wisdom, for knowledge, for understanding. Wisdom breaks down to being um to having experience, you know, 
and for, for most of us we we have experience we know what it's like to suffer afflictions as it goes into in lamentations for being under the curses being oppressed being poor being want being in need we know we have that experience for the most part i'll say 99 percent nine nine there's a hundred percent of yashua allah know what it's like to suffer affliction and curses but the elect are the ones that are going to turn return to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai. And we're just going into some of the steps what to do. As this was the um when you go to the subheading, show look at the subheading. Second Chronicles 6, it says Solomon's dedication. Solomon's dedication. And he's given some um some wise advice from his father, King David, what to do. And we you know Abu Razar we're learning this that's one of the blueprints we, we learn from. Yeah, wise man King Solomon, which was Yahweh Shai, you know, in the reincarnation, if you could receive it. Man. So we know the name now, right? We call upon him, and yeah, man, I was, I was, um, I woke up feeling good this morning. I went to bed, bed, and sometime you wake up in the middle of the night. The first thing that comes to my mind now is, um, just some of those prayers, they just come instantly, automatically to my mind. Prayers, prayers mainly in the Hebrew, some of those prayers that, um, one of the elders, uh, I forgot his name. Um, oh, the name's right in the, on the tip of my tongue. But the elder that goes into all the Hebrew prayers. Managan. Managan, something to that effect, his name. Something to that effect. Managan, yeah, I think that's his name in the Hebrew. So, yeah, he, I've been looking into some of those Hebrew prayers, and yeah, some of them are just spot on, perfect for you. You can't say you're not spot for choice. And like I say, we're like kids in a candy store when it comes to selecting prayers. And even if it's not in the Hebrew, you got and you and you're lost for words. You got selection, a whole massive selection in the Psalms that to choose from. I'm just I'm just pushing that vibration out there, Akim. You know the importance of prayer. Can you see many a men? That's why we, uh, many a men don't endure. And Abu Razar, I'm saying this, and I remember, I'm saying this first and foremost, apply it to myself. Because the battle is still ongoing, the battle is not over yet, and the race is not for the swift, but who can enjoy it? But Abu Razar, we endure to the end, man. You know, he that endures to the end is the one that will be saved, man. But we um, we got all the necessary. We got the shield, the shield of salvation. We got the, 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 the sword to slice and dice, yeah, which is the word. And we've got the helmet, man, to protect us, you know? All the things that we need, man. Abu Razar, we could fall back on wisdom and some of it, our experience, and some of our brothers and sisters' ex experiences, and our elders, ultimately our elders, and those before them, we could fall on some of those experiences, which is wisdom, learn, you know? Because um, if we don't learn from, from other people's experiences or our own experience, we ain't never gonna learn, man, and that is insanity. That's the de definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And the birds, hear the birds are my chiming. So I was compelled to come over here today. It's, you know, getting some of the, still getting some sun. Bright, sunny day, getting some sun. Um, in the hopeful year of all the prophecies coming to pass, entering into the next year now. All right, so Abu Razar, if it's not this, if it's not within a couple of months, if it's not 12 months, it's 80 months. If it's not 80 months from now, Abu Razar, I'm still praying, still hoping. Abu Razar, just keep pushing this word out there. That's the main thing. It's getting chilly now, but for some reason today, the, the, you're getting some nice sun. Even our praise to you, Abba Shimon Shah. So let me finish off now. The point is made. It's the importance of prayer, Akim. It's the importance of prayer. Get to know your power. That's the title of this video. And that's what we're doing. That's the walk. And it's a walk, it's a process. And a continual walk until we Abu Razar, we get beamed up in those chariots, man. Yeah? 24. If and if thy people Israel shall put to the worst before thine enemy, yeah, put your put your sins down, your bad ways down, yeah, because they have sinned against thee and shall return and confess thy name and pray and make supplication before thee in this house yeah all your enemies will flee from you man you don't have to go to no round two 
or get involved get involved in melees. The wise course to, of action would have been not to be there in the first place, wherever it was. Um, watch, watchmen for Israel or Wi-Fi. The wise course would have been not to be there in the first place. But once you got caught up in there, right? Defend yourself. But um, but even worse than that, talking about going back there, man. So I'm just want to push out some of some because I've been through some things myself, which I went into a little bit on Saturday. You're young, you might be young and inexperienced, yeah. So, but but we've learnt now, yeah. Twenty-five. Then here, thou from heaven. Right. So I made that point. I made that point in um. I made the point. Twenty-four. And pray and make supplication before thee in this house. Then hear thou from heavens and forgive the sin of thy people Israel and bring them again unto the land which thou hast given to them and to their fathers. Right, right now we've got, you know, things happening right now as we speak in our own land, man. We, be, we was booted out of there. We was evicted out of there because we didn't keep the laws, the statutes and commandments. And that was part of the movie once again. But um, let them do what they're doing. That's part of the movie again. The Most High wants them there. He wants them there in that land to bring judgment on them. And we're going to be returned to our land. Yeah. The weak shall draw them out. That's in Jeremiah 49 and 20. Yeah. Uh, and those people, you know, the smile at people with the big head, with the big hats, <laughs> shall draw them out. And it's, it's, it's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. This is the, this is the beginning. This is but the beginning of World War Free, man. And we're watching keenly with anticipation on the edge of our seats and praying Abu Razar and letting it unfold. Letting Yehovah Bar Shem Yoshai do what they do. Yeah? But before the World War Free, we know that there are other prophecies that have to come to pass. Right? You, you know, the Sea Hip, the Karagma, which is the MOTB, the, um, the digital currency. You know, these prophecies are. Uh, there was an, there's a some people was put on the chat just recently. A woman was in the one of those um one of those um shops those um was it Walmart or one of them them shops and big big supermarkets and she was paying very proudly may I add paying for her goods with um with the MOTB in her hand with a with a nice clean swipe proudly with a smile on her face feeling that she's achieved something. So we said it's been um. It's been out there already a little while now, the MLTV, the Karagma. A little while it's been out there already, but it's just we're just waiting now for that other prophecy, a couple others, right? And then the, uh, and then the um the icing on the cake, which is uh, the the ballistic missiles, the hypersonic ballistic missiles, the icing on the cake, and then Yashua Allah return, the grand finale. So when thou have, so that's it. That's it, man. I just wanted to bring that out, man. Abaratza, a quick one that was edifying. Yeah, get to know your power. Yeah, get to know your own strength. Sometimes you hear that, you've heard that saying. You don't know your own strength. Well, Yashua, Yashua Allah, the so-called black people, the prince of the power. We don't know our own power. We don't know our own strength when we pull together. But really, it's when we call upon the name in sincerity and in truth uh, Romans 18 and 31 says if God is for you who can be against you that's why these smile at people the smile at people with the big hats they know our power they use that's why they use us to push their agendas you know selling their um, products you know selling the gangster rap music so smile at people behind all of that using us in their sports and you can go on and on and on and on and on how they use us and exploit us for our power, our um, our purchasing power. Um, the biggest, the biggest spenders, the biggest, um, the, the, the most charismatic, you know, with the trends, and even the lingo, which is um, which goes that goes into um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, fifty-one and nineteen. Yeah, Yehovah Hashem Yehoshai. Yeah, Jacob is the form of all things, which is Yehovah, but Israel, you know, which is his people. So um, they know our power. Get to know yours. Get to know our power. Get to know your power. Know your own strength.
call, continue to call upon the name of the Lord in sincerity and in truth, you have a power. Yeah? You're not all those bywords that they've given us, right, that we know of. We're not those bywords. We're the princes of the power. Yeah? And we're seeing the results of the elect now calling upon his name. We're seeing what's happening now. This kingdom is falling, um, falling apart right around us falling apart at the seams so i brought out one what i wanted to bring out man carla <laughs> yahoo and the birds are chiming in that's all i wanted to bring out enough said get to know your power yashua allah you have a power get to know your own strength shalawam all sincere akim i'm giving double honors once again all this, um, to the elders and the apostles of Great Northstone, salute to all the 144,000 elect men, and also salutes to um, the, the Afwakim and the Wafanyim, that's the women and the children, the Hebrew. We on to the next.